Five months of thinking about the Tag Heuer Carrera chronograph, I'm back again for the fourth time. I'm glad it's available, and the team at Tag Heuer are one of the most welcoming people I've met, having been able to deal with my fickle mind. So let's check them out again, and hopefully this time I can decide. This time, I brought my Speedmaster with me, because it is the watch that's holding me back. It's a bit harder to get another chronograph watch than getting a time-only timepiece. I just love my Speedmaster too much that I rarely look at other watches with the same function. Even though I don't really use the chronograph function on a daily basis, but this Tag Heuer has been living rent-free in my mind. Let's start with one of the newest models, called the Skipper. It is a reinterpretation of a previous design. Well, actually, most of these chronographs are but what drew me to them are mainly the design and dimension. As you can see on my 6.5 inch wrist, it looks just about the same size as the Speedmaster, but they are 3mm apart, the Omega being 42mm and the Tag at 39mm. And what contributes to this similarity is the Tag's lack of bezel. Now this in particular is the one that's having too much time in my mind. I just cannot get it out of my daily thought cycle. I love the reverse panda dial, the date at 12 o'clock, and its perforated leather strap is just the absolute perfect match for it. And if you consider its history in relation to racing, it is well represented by this watch right here. And together with the Omega, it's a speedy Carrera. And here's another version. The only difference is that the date is placed at the 6 o'clock position. It has a more traditional blue leather strap which matches the dial and it doesn't steer too far from the Speedmaster's design. I know they are completely different, but when you're deciding on acquiring a watch at this price point, you sort of nitpick a little bit. You'd want them to be unique in their own way, but it helps to have another option. I guess it makes deciding easier, if you can call a 5-month decision-making an easy one. And I'm not even fully decided yet, but I'm getting there. And just to have a rest from all the thinking, here's a Carrera that's made in collaboration with Porsche. Not for me, but it is a fun and unique watch. It stands out with its chrono sprint mechanism. If you notice the chronograph function, it moves quicker than a standard chronograph hand for the first 9 seconds. It depicts Porsche's 0 to 100 km per hour acceleration, which takes 9.1 seconds. So the red portion covering the 12 to 4 o'clock marker is covered by the chronograph hand in that amount of time, then gradually slows down to accurately give you that 60 seconds. And it's a really cool feature, a unique conversation piece for Porsche and racing lovers. Here you can see the Omega is left behind and has lost the race. They are both 42 millimeters, but without the tag's bezel, the Speedmaster wears much smaller. And back to the decision-making part. The skipper made it a little harder to have a conclusion because it wasn't here 5 months ago. Although I don't have the same affinity that I have towards the reverse panda, the skipper gave me a lot more to think about and so I have skipped a day of buying another watch. But I am not done yet. This pandemonium will just lead me to another day, another week, another month of dreaming about the reverse panda. And we'll see. I'm getting there. This tag on my wrist might just make it to my watch box.